It's GPU June, and today we've got a historic video card. But before we get to that, this video is brought to you by the two most iconic things ever created. 3D Doritos and the Dave Smith Profit Rev 2. Links in the description. This is the GeForce 256, the first GPU ever made. And we're going to see how it holds up on a period correct system from the year 1999. Our system is running Windows 95, but midway through the video I decided to upgrade to 98. I saw no major performance increase, but I decided to do it because I needed better USB functionality to use my Logitech G915 wireless mechanical keyboard and Corsair Dark Core SE RGB mouse with this system. Links in the description, part two. This is our rig. It has a thick VA503 Plus baby AT motherboard, 300 watt power man power supply, 256 meg PC100 RAM, AMD K6 3E Plus 550 megahertz CPU. The GeForce 256 32 meg AGP video card. Sound Blaster 16 ISA sound card. It's also got a USB header, five and a quarter floppy drive, a three and a quarter floppy drive, a CD drive, and a 3Com Ethernet adapter. This tiny system also has a nice Corsair badge. But the real question is, can it run Shrek Noir 95 with RTX on? The GeForce 256 itself actually can, but as shown here we are getting horrific bottlenecking from the CPU when we try to utilize these effects. Socket 7 sure doesn't like this. However, we turn off the fancy graphical effects that run at 1024 by 768 whether it's 16 bit or 32 bit color, it runs very smooth at about 30 fps when it gets busy and 60 when it's not. You're probably asking, what the f*** is Shrek Noir 95 RTX and why haven't I heard of this Windows 9X? benchmark test. Well that's because it's still in the pre-alpha stage. If you'd like to test it out, join us in the Discord. Link in the description. As you can see here, we've got some glossy, insane surfaces reflecting our environment. On our other test bench, it's no issue. But on the tiny Windows 95 system, it's certainly struggling. For slow CPUs, this demo is like crisis. Here's a tech demo showing how it's supposed to look on the ultra settings. Let's compare. The GeForce 256 cannot do that, especially not with an AMD K6 processor. The GeForce 256, however, can easily go through Blender and 3ds Max workloads, and it seems to be a fair GPU for game development for older legacy systems. Look at that teapot, though. Thick. Look at that thick teapot. Yeah, look at that thick teapot. Now let's see how it handles Unreal Tournament. Unreal, Serious Sam, Minecraft, and Duke Nukem 3D. As you can see, it does a pretty good job, even with the CPU bottleneck. We're not always hitting 60, sometimes like 45 FPS, but playable at 1024 by 768. 
for Socket 7, this might be the best card outside of a Voodoo card. It performs slightly better than my GeForce 2 MX, which is the highest end card this board seemed to accept. Everything else newer seemed to be a failed post. Lastly, let's compare it to the ATI Rage Fury Max. With a name like that, you know it's ready to kick ass and chew bubblegum. This card is actually a dual GPU, which is really cool. However, there is a 50% or higher chance your board will fail to boot windows with this. 440BX boards are preferred by this card, but we're going to try using the Socket 7, and then we'll see if it can handle Shrek and the other benchmarks. It's clearly not a better card than GeForce 256, but here's some footage comparing the card's performance to the others. As shown here, the Voodoo Banshee and GeForce 256 are intense competition, but it looks like the 256 wins overall even on this slower platform. Well, should you buy a GeForce 256 in 2022? Probably not, but it is a cool novelty much like this Rage Fury Max and Voodoo Banshee. If you can find one for a reasonable price, go for it. The GeForce 256 basically is the minimum GPU to get the ray traced effects to work for Shrek Noir 95 RTX. However, as you can see from our demo, the period correct system, if it's running AMD, really doesn't like that game. In a nutshell, the GeForce 256 is still a good card, but it's not worth the $130 people want on eBay. You should just buy a Quadro and slap a Noctua fan on it. It's going to kick its ass. In other news, if you support us on Patreon, the latest project is Shrek Noir 95 RTX. As you can see, we definitely need some help developing this game as it's a complete mess of code and chaos, as you can see from these renders. You think that we should help Shrek get the 7 Chaos Emeralds on his favorite operating system, Windows 95, then let's actually do it. Join us in the Discord either way, and let's bring back the 90s, one voice at a time.